but yeah, it's just, I, you know. I had a client. Um, I had a client. This is a, a fun story. My client had an active warrant out for their arrest. Um, but they were being, uh, they were being harassed by their landlord and, uh, the landlord concocted a story that my client threw a knife at the landlord's wife and also kicked the dog. Now my client worked at a pet store and also a pet grooming company. Uh, the idea that this person would kick a dog is very, mm. very strange in the first place, but as it turns out, uh, my client wasn't present in the home when this allegedly happened. However, what the people did, which was great, was they found out where my client was by installing a third-party tracking software uh, on their phone without their knowledge. They used that. They made a police report um, for the warrant that was out for their arrest. And when the warrant was issued, or when the warrant was executed, these people drove down and served or gave to the police who were arresting my client the paperwork the police served that paperwork on my client but did not actually issue it to them for review instead since they were being arrested they put it in the plastic bag with all of their belongings and then my client got moved between three different jails over four days and so my client only saw the restraining order that was issued against them on the fifth day this is this beautiful strategy uh, of preventing my client from actually responding to the restraining order who then calls me on the fifth day and says, I've got this restraining order. And I'm like, oh, great. Can we respond to it? Well, turns out at 7 p.m., you can't really respond to the restraining order. So then right. we had to request a, a subsequent hearing and we didn't get the initial one within that five day period. So it took 30 days. And we went in and uh, and we obliterated them. I completely destroyed all their stupid witnesses on cross-exam and uh, we got the order vacated completely. But my client was completely burdened by this restraining order for a period of, of about 37 days while we waited for our opportunity for our hearing. It was uh, It's bullshit what you can do to people through the court system. Def and ASMR Bro Royale, welcome to Paralegal Status. Casey Anderson says, <laughs> uh, hey TV, turtle boy. Um, is Krusty Panties still in Ratchet Madness? Ah! I haven't had time to follow it. I'm team dump truck for the win. Great streamer, Kato. What the fuck? I don't yeah, understand any of that. We, so we have an annual... T I, I, I profile a lot of ratchets on my blog. And every mm. year we have a Ratchet Madness tournament. We take the 64 top ratchets of the year. We seed them 1 through 16. And people vote on who should advance. And yes, so to, to answer that person's questions, Krusty Panties has reached... The sweet 16. So she'll be facing off next week against a two seed. So stay tuned. Um, That's my vote. So you have a you have a ratchet bracket? A ratchet madness. That's what we call it. Yep. How? It's the best. That's no one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the okay. best. We have okay. seventh you're, annual. Seventh annual. You're coming back on the next time my friend Drexel is here. Because I'm going to need you to explain in detail ratchet madness to my friend Drexel. It's the best. Everybody, lo Turtle Riders love Ratchet Madness. It's the best time of the year. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's been kind of like this story again happened at the same time. And I'm almost just like, couldn't it wait like a month? Ratchet Madness is oh. going on. So, yeah. Oh, my God. My friend Drexel just, he adores <laughs> black women. And I think that it's will be. It's not a black thing. It's not a black thing. Like, we have no, Krusty Panties is white. You know, there's a yeah. lot of ratchets. Well, yeah, that, I, I think he'll. So that's strong. what I'm saying. I think he'll be very happy to see that it's uh, that it's white women who are involved because he hates them. 